Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today we're doing number 42 of the United States State Quarter Series, the state of Washington and we have two of them here. This is actually a Philadelphia and a Denver Mint. Well let's look at the Philadelphia Mint and then let's work through these a little bit. So it says United States of America at the top, uh, Liberty right here under George Washington's chin. Uh, back here it says in God we trust and you'll see that there's a little fading of the I and the G and the T here. This, I am I would guess, is from a little bit of uh, fluid of some kind being on top of the die when they punched it, sometimes a little oil or something. Um, that's not going to make it worth any more, these kind of faded letters. If all of them or a lot of them were faded, maybe, but this is just a something that happens when you produce coins, and so it shouldn't add any value to it. There's a P here for Philadelphia. And in Philadelphia, in 2007, it made 265.2 million of these. Uh, this coin in an MS-65, which is in really good shape, and I'll show you one in a minute uh, or two, um, is worth about $5. So it's not a hugely valuable coin. It also comes in a uh, San Francisco Mint and a Denver Mint variety. When we tip it up on its edge, we see that it is a copper nickel clad copper. So copper in the middle, a nickel copper blend on the front and the back. And when we flip it to the back, we see that it's just a beautiful coin. This is a dirty coin, which we got out of our change. But even so, it still looks really nice. The, the engraving, the design. It says Washington on the top, 1889, which is the year that Washington became one of the states of the Union. About um, the same year that Montana, South Dakota, and North Dakota became states of the Union, but Washington became a state on November 11th, and the uh, North Dakota was November 2nd, South Dakota was November 2nd, Montana was November 8th, and Washington then came in on November 11th. And what that did was gave a track all the way across the United States, so there wasn't any, uh, but once you went from um, Minnesota, uh, through the Dakotas. Uh, there's a little bit of Idaho in there, um, but that gets you right out to um, the West Coast. And Idaho, um, obviously, was a state also. Uh, well, a Idaho became a state in 1890. So, what does it say? Washington has a trout leaping out of the w lake in front of Mount Rainier. A pretty pretty nice. Down the bottom it says 2007 and E Pluribus Unum. Now this is a, see over here we have the initial CLV. So that's for Charles L. Vickers. And Charles L. Vickers did um, four of these coins and I'm going to show them to you. So he was the engraver of the back and I think uh, he he's certainly one of my favorites if not my favorite engraver of all. Uh, he first came out with the Minnesota coin, and notice the water in this and the duck. Uh, first came out with a Minnesota coin in 2005, and this is again a Charles L. Vickers, and there's the CLV down there. So he did Minnesota in 2005. He did, um, let me get, get these in, in the right order here. He did the Nebraska one in 2006, and this is a beauty also. You see the CLV down here. In 2007, of course, he did this one, and then there's a CLV here for Washington. And then in 2008, he did this one, which is just a spectacular coin. CLV down here, and that's the Alaska. We haven't got to the Alaska one yet, but when, when you do look at these, look at the back and see who... Uh, engrave them and see if you see any similarities or, or or maybe you just find an engraver that you really like the work that they did. And that's again, that's Charles L. Vickers. So we have a Philadelphia. We also have a Denver version and these are just the business strike regular coins. This one actually looked pretty good getting an old color on it. Down at the bottom, of course, in the truncation of the neck of Washington, we see a J and an F for John Flanagan and a WC down here for William Cousins, who are the engravers of the front. Uh, at the Denver Mint, they made 280 million. So 265 million at Philly, 280 million at Denver. They also made these 
in a um, uncirculated mint sets with a satin finish and they made 895,000 of each of those and those are worth about 450 uh, to five dollars at MS65 and here is one that's starting to get a little bit of toning on it and so this is probably worth 450 to five dollars and you can see that great detail down here the numbers the hair the Washington and much better detail than our worn coin on the back too um, so that was one of the um, that was one of the clad um, uncirculated mint set coins they call them satin finish coins this one of course is a proof coin it has an s on it so we know it's a proof coin uh, and the question is is it the silver proof set or is it the um, copper nickel clad proof set and when we put it next to this one we see this this is a little bit i don't know i think a little bit more yellowish to it or a little bit grayer we tip this one up we see this is a silver one the silver ones are pretty um, pure in the silver they both have a very similar image but when you get look right in here it's much more mirror like than this one has seems like it has a little color and of course we just tip it up on its edge and we can see that the silver ones here and the clad ones here the silver one they made 1.3 million and this one's worth about 850 and a proof 65 the um, copper nickel one they made 2.374 million it's worth about two and a half dollars in a proof 65 so not real expensive coins considering this this coin here has almost five dollars worth of silver on it all right well that's all we have from dc coin world international coin channel